Hello, good evening. How are good you? Evening, sir. I'm tired of being here. Are you? <laughs> yeah, kind of tired also. Very good. Thank you for being here, Elida. Uh, thank you, teacher. How is how is going today? Uh, the... kind of yeah, kind of tiring as always, right? But it is good because uh, we are right now almost finishing with everything. Even though that tomorrow we have classes, but we are about to finish the first week. So I think that's good, right? Yeah, I, it's good because it's the first week and it, we almost finished everything. We already finished. Yes, exactly. Have you worked in the platform? Do you have any questions about the platform? No, I don't have any questions. I was working in the uh, lunch time, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I don't want to live and I don't want to live in this case. <laughs> okay. just, a, just, a, just a little bit because I ha I, I went to the university to make some uh, medical exams that I had to, to, to present today, but for mm -hmm. that reason. Okay, I, I know. Yeah, it's kind of complicated like to get into, into the university. But yeah, so it is because we we didn't enroll in we don't enroll in the pl platform of the university, but we had to, este, be 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 there, and make the process about the the folder about the exam and just like that things like that. Yes, I understand. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. More than University of El Salvador is, it's also kind yeah. of a lot of paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I, it's, I remember it's that. Complicated. Uh, <laughs> I think that the most easier thing was um, uh, um, uh, pass the test in the university. <laughs> and the most difficult thing, it would be um, exit from the university. <laughs> yes, exactly. that would be the most difficult, exactly. <laughs> okay, but yes, cheers up, uh, Elida, and hopefully everything will be okay, right, in the following months with the university. I hope so. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Lida. Uh, welcome, Kimberly. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. A little tired, but but I'm fine. <laughs> yes, we all. I think that at this time everybody's tired. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate uh, you to be here right at this time nine in the Thursday and tomorrow also Friday at nine p.m. Probably everybody's like. <laughs> kind of tired but we are about to finish okay we are going to practice so we are not going to have a lot of a lot of information and i think that we just have uh elida and kimberly but we are about to, to begin um i don't remember if we studied yesterday like some of these verbs you did we see this did we study this do you remember the meaning no, of the phrase of verbs? No, right? To be right. honest with you, yesterday I was too tired, very tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> and, uh, so I remember that we, we were working about oh, different um, words and different kind of um, of titles, but and the activity too. But I don't remember if, if we use turn off or something like that. Exactly. Okay, we're going to practice now and tomorrow we're going to see gerunds and also My goodness. <laughs> yes gerunds <laughs> and infinitives actually it will be kind of easy because we are not going to study deeply right like a lot of rules and grammars wow well, grammar we are not going to do that but we are going to um know how to use them at least so today we are going to begin uh with that information since yesterday we were talking about complaints and about family and about um, this kind of audio, right? Neighbors, right? That were kind of problematic. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's sure. what we were we were uh, doing yesterday. So we are going to review just the phrase or verbs. Let me yes. see here. Sure. Okay, let's see. So these are the phrase or verbs, right? Two parts verb or phrase or verbs are verbs that contain two words usually a verb plus a preposition, right? For example, turn the music down, let the dog out. So turn down is the uh, phrasal verb, right? 
can let out, deja salir, is the other phrasal verb. But in this case, it's in transitive because they are separable, no? Exactly, exactly. They have uh, an object, exactly. So we can separate them. Perfect. Uh, thank you, Irma, for being here. So now we're going just to review some two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. Let's see, the first one is turn on. It means to start a machine or a device, right? Can you give me an example? Anybody? Uh, can you turn on the TV, please? Exactly. Can you turn on the TV? Very good. That is a phrasal verb. Another one is turn off. That is the opposite, right? To stop a machine or device. Can you give me another example? Could you turn off the lights, please? Can you turn off the lights, please? Perfect. Or can you turn the lights off? Perfect. Very good. Turn down is to reduce the volume, right? To reduce the volume. Uh, can you give me an example, Kimberly? Uh, can you... Can you turn down? The music, please. The music, exactly. Can you turn down the music, please? Perfect. And turn up is the the opposite, right? Can you give me another one, please, Kimberly, with turn up? Um, can you turn up the volume of the TV, please? Very good. Can you turn up the volume of the TV or the TV volume? Perfect, perfect. We have another one is put away. To put things in the correct place, put away, right? Uh, Tanya, no, Irma, Irma, then Tanya. Irma, can you give me one sentence with put away? Um, can you put away the shoe in the bedroom? In can, the you, uh -huh. can you put away your shoes in your bedroom? Very good, please. Very good. And take out, to take out is to move something from inside to the outside, right? Irma, can you give me one sentence with take out? Um, can you take up your, your car in the, gar in the garage? Very good. Can you take out your car to the garage? Very good. And actually that would be like take in, but can you take out the, the car from the garage? That would be okay. Take off is to remove clothes from the body, right? Depending on the context, that can change. Tanya, can you give me one sentence with take off, please? Tanya. Open. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, take uh, on the glasses. Take off the glasses. Take off your glasses. Very good. Perfect. And let out, right? Let out is to allow a person or an animal to go out. Can you give me one sentence with let out, Tanya? Let, let out on the garbage. Let out the garbage. And... Uh, Yes, but in this case, it would be take out the garbage, right? Take out. Because the garbage cannot walk, right? So probably the dog, right? Uh, let out the dog, please. Or can you let the dog out, please? Perfect. We have also throw out to put in the trash something unnecessary. Throw out the garbage, right? Can you, uh, can you throw out the garbage? And pick up. As you can see, we have different meanings to pick up is to take or collect something from the floor, is to answer the phone, or is to go for someone usually in a car. So it depends on the context. Even if it is the same phrasal verbs, probably uh, the context changes, right? Pick up, pick up, and pick up. It's, it's different, right? Also with hang up, right? Hang up is to put clothes on a hanger, to end a phone call, or to commit suicide using a rope, like hang up, como colgarse, como que los cuelgan, ¿verdad? So that would be hang up also. So it depends on the context. And these are um, 
the ways that we use, right? The, the phrasal verbs. Let the dog out, clean the yard up, hang your clothes up, pick the toys up, throw the old shoes out. This is the verb, noun, and preposition. As you remember, um, we can place the noun between the verb and the preposition. And also we can place it at the end, right? Let out the dog, clean up the yard, hang up the clothes, pick up the toys, throw out the, the old shoes. But if we use a pronoun, we need to place it between, right? Between the verb and the preposition. Let it out, clean it up, hang them up, pick them up, throw them up. We don't have another option here. In this one, with the with nouns, we we can have the two options, right? Place it in the middle, lo podemos poner en medio, o lo podemos poner al final. But it, with pronouns, con los pronombres, no. Okay, we don't have another option. And requests, also we were talking about requests. This is a review, right, from yesterday. Um, instead of saying, let the dog out, right? If we want to be nice or we want to be polite, right? Please, right, please let the dog out. Response, okay. I let it out. Turn the lights off, please. All right, I turn them off. Please pick the toys up. Okay, I'll do it. Throw the old shoes away, please. All right, I'll do it, right? So we can uh, say please, or also we can use would you mind, right? Could you? Could you let the dog out? Or uh, would you mind to throw the old shoes away, please? Like, would you mind, right? With this, uh, this would be the model verbs that we studied yesterday, right? Could you put the groceries away? Would you mind washing the dishes? So this is not to sound too rude. So this would be the way that we can use this uh, request, right? Models, first the model, the subject, the verb, and complement, right? Can you pick up the kids today, please? Could you wash the dishes today, please? Would you please buy some milk sure no problem of course yes i can do that okay i'll do it or would you mind right would you mind plus gerund plus compliment would you mind cooking for us tonight would you mind not making noise at night would you mind giving me a ride to work not at all not at all means no hay problema that no of course not no, that would be fine. Okay, I'll do it. But if um if I want to say no, we have the option here, right? I'm really sorry. Sorry, I can't, right? I can't do it today. I, I am busy, right? Sorry. Lo siento, no puedo, ¿verdad? So, uh, would you mind is do you care or do you have any problems with this? That is the meaning of would you mind if you uh, were asking about that. So, um, if, uh, well, first of all, I don't know if you have any questions about that, about the phrasal verbs or models. Preguntas acerca de esto, del orden, como se usan. Este es un review de lo que hemos estudiado. This is a review about what we have studied. Questions. No questions. Everything's clear as the horchata, right? Very good. So, uh, if everything's clear, I think that we are able to use it, right? To use it normally in with our language, with English, etc. So, today we are going to have a practice. I think that we will have enough time. We are just, let's see how much, five. What happened with the rest? I don't know, right? Because let's see if they have written. They are sleeping. <laughs> yeah. They are watching TV, right? <laughs> Very good. And we are here learning English. Very good. So, yes, probably that happened. But uh, we are going to practice. No problem. Tomorrow, probably they will practice. But now we are going to do it today. We will have a role plays, right? Um, practice the following role plays with a partner. Vamos a practicar con un compañero o compañera. For example, let me read this one because it's very small. It says here, look at these situations and act out conversations, apologize, and then give an excuse to 
you an excuse, admit a mistake, or make an offer or a promise. So these are the expressions, right? I'm sorry, you're right, I was wrong, I forgot, I didn't realize, uh, right, I'll do it right away, I'll make, I, I'll make sure to, I promise, right? So for example, you're the customer, and student B will be, you're the hairstylist. So my hair is ruined, right? Uh, you ruined my hair, right? I'm sorry, right? Number two, you own the backpack. You own the puppy. Hey, your puppy has my back, right? It's ruining my back, right? Something like that. That is an example, right? Next one, you're driving the red car. You're driving the blue car. Watch where you're going. Like probably an accident happened, right? And the fourth one, you're the customer. You're the cashier. I don't seem to have any cash, right? You forgot the money and you are paying in Super Selectors, right? Or Walmart. So those are some situations. So what we are going to do is just a conversation, a conversation about the video that, uh, something similar about the video that we watched yesterday, right? Do you remember the video, the, the father and his daughter? Do you remember that? And they were talking and they were discussing and they were making requests. So I want a conversation, a very similar conversation about that. Also, you can have a problem, right? For example, I, you forgot something or I don't know, you are a neighbor. You can use these situations also. Um, like, um, I don't know, you're, you're very, a very noisy neighbor probably. And you play a lot of music, right? Out loud, like... Uh, Paquita La del Barrio and things like that and you are trying to sleep or you have a headache right I don't know there are a lot of situations but I want a situation in which you can make requests que usen phrasal verbs y que usen requests okay that's what I want you to do so do you have any questions about that preguntas about the activity so just we have to create a, a scenario and we have to put a phrasal verbs in the scene. It's just that phrasal verbs yes. and moral verbs at the same time. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Like you are going to create the conversation. I will give you some time, right? And at the end, you are going to come here and you will um practice it. Like uh, okay, uh, let's act it out, right? Vamos a actuarla. But try to use okay. all of this. Uh, try to use all of this. We're going to create the groups randomly right now, and I will give you around 15 to 20 minutes, and then we're going to check it, okay? Okay, so, teacher. If you have no, any okay. question, any doubt, like, teacher, how do you say this, teacher? I want to talk about this, but I don't know the words. Let me know. Yo las voy a estar viendo, y yo voy a meterme a sus rooms sin hablar, y si ustedes tienen preguntas, me las pueden hacer. Okay, thank you, Okay, just, you can share your screen also. If you want to write the conversation, you can share the screen. But I will agree the groups right now. Okay, just one minute, please. Okay, we will have just two conversations because we're just four, right? So we have, uh, we will have two. Once you, ha once you, see, once you see the invitation, uh, please uh, join and start practicing, okay? Okay, you can join right now. Hello, Kimberly, are you there? You can join right now to the group, to the room.
Okay. Hi, Tan. When? Right. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Irma. Maria, can you turn down the music, please? Could you repeat? Can you turn down, turn down the music, please? Uh, yeah, I, I do it. Okay. Um, because I need a student for my exam of the tomorrow. Uh, I know. I, I the thing, I the thing you should study more. Okay. Thank you. Ese es el que tenía yo preparado. No sé si tenía, tenía un algo otro. Um, no, no realmente. Me está costando un poquito usar los lo phrases, tal vez. Ah, ok. Um, Entonces, preparemos otro aquí, entonces. Va, está bien. Va, entonces. Um, Ya. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you take a take out take out the the ay se me olvidó cómo se dice basura <laughs> eh, garbes ah uh, can you take out the garbage, please? I will do it. Creo que así sería la respuesta. Sí. Uh -huh. Creo que sería. Uh, the, uh, I will light the throw of the garbage. Y... Repítamelo, por favor. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, would, you, would you like to throw all the garbage? Yes. Que, que saque la basura, creo que sí. Respondí, respondí Ajá, bien. Lanzar la basura, sí. Ah, ok. okay. Hello, good evening. Bessie? Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me, Bessie? Right now, are we working? In, we're working in groups right now. But if you don't, if you cannot use your microphone, that's okay. Uh, but you will need just to listen to the conversations, and probably tomorrow you will be able to to practice with somebody else. Is that okay for you?
Yes. Okay. Perfect. So in 10 minutes, we are going to come back. I will be, um, I'll be back in, in a couple of minutes, right? In two minutes, but we are just reviewing the modal verbs and the phrasal verbs and uh, the request, how to make requests, right? So they are preparing a conversation. So uh, we are going to check uh, the conversations in a couple of minutes, okay? One moment, I'll be, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Drawing with either. Okay, sure. Thanks. Take your time. Okay. Hello, Miss Kimberly. Do you do you stay on the line? Yes, I'm here, but I couldn't change the deposit. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm continuing waiting waiting on the line. If you want, we can continue. Yeah, sure. I just only need your phone number, please. May I have your phone telephone number? Okay, my phone number is 7053-7900. Okay, okay. Uh, may I have your first and last name, please? Kimberly Lopez. Okay, that is correct. Um, okay, let me mention that you had problem um, with um, an, a slow capacity of your internet. The um, speed test showed me that you are that the internet doesn't work. And, but in this case, I I want to do, I, I don't know if you could, if you are closer for the internet, uh, for the router, but I need that you turn off the, 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 the router and wait just two minutes. I'm going to stay in line with you and I'm going to wait, but I need that you turn off, please. I don't know if you can do it in this moment. Miss Kimberly, are you okay. there? <laughs> yes, I'm here. Okay, I'm going to turn off the roller and... Wait two minutes and then turn on the modem again, please. Did you finish the conversation? Excuse me? Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Did you finish Hello, the conversation? <laughs> Hello. Did you finish? Did you practice the conversation? Sí, yeah. The yeah. finish. Okay, remember that it has to be like a conversation. Hi, he hello, Irma. How are you? Hi, Tania. And you oh. fine, right? And then you start speaking, right? Like, hi, can you lend me your car or can you turn on the music? Can you take out the garbage? Okay, very good. Perfect. You see, like uh, a long conversation, okay? <laughs> Um, Do you have any questions? Any words? Al intento. <laughs> I know. Uh, questions? Any uh, words? Yo siento, teacher, problema al, al uh -huh. hacer las oraciones con, con los modals. Siento, uh -huh. siento dificultad. Si lo podríamos repasar un poquito más. Por favor. Con los, con los modals. Eh, co, que, ¿En qué tienen problemas con los modals? Uh, el... Al usar el modal con, con el phrasal verb, uh -huh. siento confusión. ¿Por qué? O solo es un modal que se va a usar, solo es pull. Yes, uh, los modals solo son para sonar más 
eh, educados, ¿va? para sonar más suaves. Entonces, ustedes al principio de la oración, en lugar de decir, take out the garbage, que ahí están usando un phrasal verb, ¿verdad? Take out. En lugar de decir, take out the garbage, van a usar, could you take out the garbage? Or can you take out the garbage? Solo al principio de la oración. Or would you mind, or do you mind, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, could, could you put away my car in front of my house? Exactly. Could you put away the car in front of, of my house? Yes. Uh -huh. Exactly, okay. that's correct. Perfect. So the model verb solo van al principio es para sonar más polite. Ah, uh, está bien. Okay. Another Thank word? You, another word that you don't know? No. All clear. All clear. Okay, perfect. Okay. Try to practice and then we're going to listen to your conversation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Empiezo. Uh -huh. Hi, Tania. Hi, Irma. Uh, can you turn down the music, please? Yes. Um, yes, I do. Because I need a student for my exam in, in the university. Uh, yes, I did. I think you should be study more. Uh, and uh, that is much the noise. Um, ahí se me perdí. <laughs> y es mucho el ruido. <laughs> um, I know, no, it's, it's a little, a little, a little, a little the song. Okay, okay, Tanya, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was listening to your conversation. That's the, that's the conversation, like turn down the volume. Ok, pero ¿cómo, cómo, ¿cómo reaccionaría usted, Tania, en la vida real si le dijeran, señora Tania, por favor, bájale el volumen a, su, a, la, a la música? Estoy en te... mi casa, dije. Yes, I am in my house, right? To try to use that. that is, that's my house. Is there any problem? ¿Hay algún problema? Is there any problem, Irma? Yes, I have to study, Tania. I have to study for my exam, please. No, but uh, it is my house, not your house, right? Yes, but do you mind to turn off, please? Please, it's like a favor just for today. For today. Okay, I will do it for today because you're my friend and you're my neighbor, okay? you're. I love you very much. You're my friend. Okay, very good, very good, Tania. Okay, so okay. you see, you add things. Eh, hagan como que de verdad, fuera de verdad, ¿qué dirían en esa situación, verdad? Ah, okay. You see? The, no va a decir, okay. okay. No, que si alguien le toca la puerta, no, ah, okay. No. What is the problem, right? What is the problem? Okay. I'll be here just for a couple of minutes, and then if you need help, I will, I will help you. Okay. Va, hoy dígame algo usted ahí para ver que cómo responde. Uh... <laughs> ok, Yoma. Um, uh, would you like the hang a uh, minutes uh, de take a bus? Excuse me, repeat, please. Okay. Uh, would you like? They have all um, five minutes uh, when they take the bus. What is my favorite music? Esa es la pregunta. ¿Cuál es mi música favorita? No. Me perdí. 
No, yo sí le gustaría. Esperar cinco minutos cuando tome. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, otra pregunta, otra pregunta. Uh -huh. uh, would you like would, would you love the world the more hours? Es que le entiendo, le oigo cortado por eso. Uh -huh. Y el, el Interson está como trabando acá. Hoy sí me escucha. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hola. Sí, hoy sí, así como un zumbidito. Ay, Irma, hoy sí me escucha. Sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Ah, ah sí, sí, sí. El Inter creo que está, está malo. Ajá, sí, sí. Eh, ok. Would you like, este... Would you like, would you like, the world more hours? Me pierdo, Tania. <ríe> y me gusta ir a mi trabajo siempre. Es que no sé por qué se corta. Pero también se me corta. Que si sí, le gustaría trabajar más horas. I don't like. I don't like. For um part, yes, or okay, hello Bessie. Now we are about to to come back, okay? So thank you for waiting. We are going to listen to other people's conversation. And if you have any question, uh we are going to let you know. But right now we are just going to review the where well, after the conversation, we are going to review um a reading, okay? But thank you for being there. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, basic. Yes, we have a group, a WhatsApp group. Yes, the the admins when you enroll in this in this course, they should have uh they should have add you to the to the um, to the group. Ya la debieron de haber agregado cuando usted se inscribió al al, al curso al, al a este nivel, ahí tendrían que haberla agregado. Si no, deme me deme su número y yo Yo lo voy a anotar y se los voy a reportar. Ok. Jesse González. Siete uno. Noventa y cuatro. Ok. Entonces yo se los voy a reportar a ellos. Ok. No se preocupe y para que le agreguen ahí y usted ahí puede hacer preguntas y ahí vamos a, a, a compartir el material. Ahorita solo vamos a, a ver las, las conversaciones. Thank you for letting me know that.
Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you again. <laughs> okay, nice to see you again. You too. Okay, very good. Did you finish the conversation? So, yes. I will send the technician to her house in this moment. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, I was listening. That was like an internet problem, right? Very good. Yeah. yeah. It's a really, it's a really, really internet issue. An internet issue. And yes, Irma, I, I agree with that. Uh, tell me, the teacher, what's happened? Yes. Uh, Irma, did you finish the conversation? Yes. Okay, Tanya is there. Okay, very good. Because I, I checked that you had oh. also problems, right? Oh. Also problems with the, the internet. Tenían problemas con el internet también ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, very good. But right now, we are going to practice the conversation. Vamos a ver. Volunteers, ¿quién quiere comenzar? ¿Quién quiere comenzar con la conversación? So, the one we can start with, Kimberly. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Okay, okay. 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 I will turn off the volume here. Okay. Thanks for calling, Diego. This is Ellie speaking. Who do I have the pleasure with? Kimberly Lopez. Hi. Hi, Miss Kimberly. How can I help you today? Okay. I have I issues, an internet issues right now because my internet is slowly and I don't have the correct connection. Oh, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. My apologies. I will be more than happy to assist you with that. Um, just to confirm, may I have your full phone number, please? Okay, my number is 7053-7900. Oh, oh. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, Miss Kimberly, let me tell you in this moment, I need your collaboration to do that. Can Are you near from the router? Yes. Um, can you check the light, please? Okay, the light is red. Okay, okay. Oh, we have serious problem here. <laughs> okay. Well, um, can, may I may you turn off the light, please? So turn off the router, please, in this moment. Okay, I'll do it. Now. Okay. Thank I... you. We have to wait just a minute, and then you have to um turn on the the router again please okay now i'm turning on the router and okay, the okay. light okay okay and the light is continuing how, red how are the lights the color of the lights in this moment is continuing red Okay, okay. Uh, just to confirm, could you make a speed test, please? In your okay. browser? Okay, okay now okay. I'm doing, and the result is that my internet is slow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, I will send an update from the platform here from the system. Uh, I need your help again. <laughs> if you can <laughs> turn off again the router, I will be more than thankful with you. Please. Okay, I'll do it. No problem. Yeah. In this case, we have to wait for two minutes. And I, I hope so that everything will be okay with that update that I'm going to send. Okay. Now I can turn on the, the robot again. Yes, yes, you can do it. Please check it out. Okay, now the light is yellow. I think the problem left. So can you make the check the check in the browser about the speed test again, please? Okay. The results are that my internet is fast now. It's fast now. Okay. Is there anything else that I can help you with, Miss Kimberly? Just that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you for choosing Tigo. It was my pleasure assist you today. Thank you. Have a nice okay. day.
Thank you. Bye. Okay, very good. Very good conversation. I feel like I was in the call center. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was the reason. Yeah. It is yeah. because I had a lot of experience talking with TIGO agents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Very good conversation. Very long, very fluent, very real, very natural. And just uh when I say uh, I'm sorry, my my apologies, right? Or I I, I okay. do apologize. I do apologize, but the rest was good. And the pro the problem left, como que el problema se fue, verdad? Yeah. So probably the issue is gone or the, the issue stopped, right? The issue stopped. I don't have the issue. Okay. Anymore. But very okay. good. Perfect. Thank Let's you, teacher. Very good. Let's see Tanya and Irma now. Okay. Hi, Tanya. Hi, <laughs> Can you turn down the music, please? Uh, what happened? I my I humped. I need a study for my exam. Oh, sorry. I I do it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hi, no problem. Uh, I love you, the neighbor. Thanks for. For your understanding. Okay. No problem. Go Have on. a good day. Have a good day, Tanya. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good, Tanya. Can you turn down the music? It's very good. Perfect. A nice neighbor. And uh, how do you say examine in English? How do you say that? Examine. Exam. Sin el end, verdad? Exam. Ah, sí. Exam. Very good. Examine, no exam. Very good. Perfect. Now, uh, we are going to finish uh, this topic with requests and all of that um, with a lecture, right? A reading. It will be just a comprehensive reading. And we are going to finish with this exercise. Are you able to see it? Are, are you able to read it? Because I think it is kind of small, right? It is, it says how to ask for a favor. Read the headings in the article. Can you think of other good advice when asking for a favor? And we have four paragraphs. Are you able to see the paragraphs? Pueden leer la letra o es muy pequeña? Es muy pequeña. Es muy pequeña, okay. Entonces, la voy a tratar de leer yo. I will try to read it. And then we are going to answer um, some, uh, yeah, some questions about the reading, right? So, eh, if you don't understand a word que yo diga o algo o no entienden el párrafo, if you don't understand something, please let me know. Okay, it says, we all have to ask for favors sometimes, but it can be a difficult thing to do, even when you ask a good friend. So how can you ask a favor and be reasonably sure to get a positive response? Here are some suggestions. So what we are going to talk about is how can we ask for a favor, right? Let's see, number one, choose your words carefully. Choose, escoger, verdad? Sus palabras con cuidado. How do people respond to requests like this one? Hey, Mike. Lend me your car. They probably refuse. How can you avoid this problem? Choose your words carefully. For example, say, Mike, would you mind doing me a favor? Mike will probably respond like this. Maybe. What do you need? Now you have this his attention and can explain the situation. People are more likely to agree to help you when they know the whole story. Okay, very good. Now, first of all, is to call the attention, right? Second one, be a nice person. When you ask someone for a favor, you're really asking the person to go out of his or her way to help you. 
Show the person that you understand he or she is doing something specially nice for you. If people think you're pleasant, they're more likely to want to help. Thank them sincerely when they help you. And of course, a smile goes along the way, goes a long way. So uh, you have to be thankful, right? You have to say, yes, okay, thank you, thank you, right? And you have to be sincere, right? Be a nice person. Give and take. If someone agrees to do you a favor, allow the person to choose when he or she helps you. Be respectful of the other person's time and try not to ask for too much. If someone refuses your request, you should accept the answer politely. Don't make a habit of asking for favors and always make sure you're ready to do someone a favor in return. Reciprocate. It's just a matter of giving and taking. So also, um, it's like a give and take, right? If someone says no, no, I'm sorry, I cannot help you. Okay, accept the, the answer, right? And don't make a habit, right? Also, and also try to uh, return the favor, right? So that, that will be the reading about. Let's see. Let's try to answer some of the questions. It says, find the words in italics in the article. They match each word, word with its meaning. Okay, specially. What is the meaning of specially? Giving return, say no, friendly, more than usually, honestly, or stop from happening. What is the meaning of specially? It could be friendly. Mm, friendly, yeah, it can be possible. Especially friendly. Uh, pleasant, what is the meaning of pleasant? Pleasant, what is the meaning? In Spanish, what is pleasant? ¿Qué es pleasant? If I tell you, you are very pleasant. Como agradable, ¿verdad? Agradablemente, agradado. ¿Podrías repetir, amor? Es que se perdió, se quedó como frisado el, el audio. So pleasant is like... Honestly, stop from happening more than usually, friendly. Honestly? Honestly, let's see, that would be more like sincerely, right? Sincerely, sinceramente, honestamente, right? Sincerely, honestly. Like pleasant will be like giving return because pleasant is like, uh, ser como agradecido, like be a nice person, right? Say thank you. So probably it uh, can be like friendly also or given return, right? Refuse. What is refuse? Rechazar, right? This one is easy. Say no, Say right? No. Exactly. Say no. Avoid. What is avoid? Avoid. In... Avoid could be say no to to or stop from happening to yes, exactly. Stop from happening, like Evita, right? Stop from happening. And reciprocate. What is reciprocate? That's easy, giving right? Into giving return. Giving return, reciprocate, exactly. That a cambio, right? Reciprocate. Very good. So those will be the, I guess that will be the, the practice for today for the reading is how to ask for a favor, right? Also, uh, we have some questions here like, why is, it, why is it easy to ask for a favor? How can you show people you're nice? How can you avoid people for asking for favors? What do you do when someone refuses? And why is it not a good idea to ask for a lot of favors. So that would be information that we read in the article, okay? Uh, like being nice and being friendly and also to accept a no, right? And to avoid asking for favors. Let me see.
Okay, tomorrow we are going to finish with section one and section two. So try to work in the platform. And if you have any problem, any question, uh, you can ask in the WhatsApp group. Also, Just Bessie. Only one question, teacher. We have to finish the lesson number one and the two, or just only the number one? Section one and section two. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes, tomorrow we will check section two, right? Like, for example, we will check infinitives and gerunds, which will be really easy because we are not going to watch or see a lot of grammar. And also we are going to check this one. This is also in the video, in the platform, um, infinitives, right? All these rules. Okay. okay. All of this is in the in the in section two and imperatives. And make sure all these uh, kind of expressions, we will see them tomorrow. And probably we won't be able to cover all of it, like th this reading, for example, but we will cover the main things the topics so i don't know if you have any question any doubt about today's class preguntas mm, not for me teacher okay do you like this kind of activities or do you like sure life? it was an interesting role play today yes we will try to create more role plays like this or uh like practice this kind of conversation and try to to change it to change them uh with your own information okay but we will try to do that later and tomorrow i think that we are going to talk about technology so try to think about your favorite device technological device what is a device that you cannot live without that is um used for with technology cuál es algún dispositivo que ustedes usen de tecnología, alguna calculadora, la televisión, la tablet, el celular, algo que ustedes usen bastante y que no podrían vivir, digamos, este sin eso. ¿Y por qué? Okay, teacher. That will be the homework for tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, we will finish the class right now and I will see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Uh, rest bye, please bye. and i will see you tomorrow good night see you tomorrow good night you guys too good night bye guys good night <laughs>